Hey Hacksters, today we are taking a look at the Seed Wheel Terminal, which I've just gotten in the mail. Let's open it up and take a look. Ooh. So this is an all-in-one IoT device, fully open source, and it supports Arduino and MicroPython. Oh, there's something else in here too. Oh hey! If I'm not wrong, this is this is yeah, this is a Seedwino shell. Oh no, it's in a shell RP2040 using the Raspberry Pi Silicon uh, RP2040 chip. Very cool. Raspberry Pi's first microcontroller, and in the Seedwino shell form factor. We've covered the shell before. We'll cover this one later. But for now, the Wio terminal. We're gonna bust it out and we're gonna try machine learning with Edge Impulse. Let's take a look at the specs on here. We've got microchip at 7051 processor with a maximum frequency of 200 megahertz and 32 megabits of external spy flash. It comes with 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi, BLE 5.0, a 2.4 inch LCD with 320 by 240 resolution, USB 2.0 type C, client and host, a micro SD card expansion slot for up to 16 gigs, a three axis accelerometer, a microphone, a buzzer, Raspberry Pi 40 pin compatible GPIO, two multifunction Grove connectors, one reset button, and three user programmable buttons. We have the terminal itself, and it comes with some stickers as well as a USB-C cable. Plus, or is it a four pad directional button? I guess we'll find out. It's got little arrows on it, like for a joystick. We have a user manual and a bunch of stickers. Oh, you can label your pins! They go around your Raspberry Pi pin connector, look at that. As for the manual, it contains some tips for getting started, as well as what's in the box, how to enable different modes, links to tutorials, some really useful labeled diagrams of the whole thing, including the internals, and a full labeled pinout. Now on to the device itself. Oh, as I suspected, this does seem to be a little four position joystick. Three buttons on the top, our two Grove connectors on the bottom, USB-C in the middle, power over here, our micro SD card slot, our buttons, as I mentioned, and your Raspberry Pi connector on the back. Plus a little clear window under the inner workings. This appears to be for either a microphone or a speaker. Oh, and there's an LED on the back, unless it's a light sensor, which may be the case. Let's take a look at the website and then see if we can get this fired up with Edge Impulse. From the main Wio Terminal landing page, scroll down and click on Getting Started with Wio Terminal, which will take you to the wiki. Once you're there, look for TinyML in the left sidebar and click to expand it. We're looking for the Edge Impulse Getting Started page. First, we'll get the computer ready, install the CLI tools and download the Arduino firmware for the Wio. Next, plug in your device and click the switch down twice to put it in bootloader mode. The screen won't turn on, but it'll show up on your computer as Arduino. Drag and drop the arduino.uf2 firmware file onto this new drive. Open up Arduino's Boards Manager and install the latest version of the Seed SAMD Boards board definitions. You can grab the data forwarder code from Edge Impulse's documentation, or do as I've done and use this version copied from the Seed wiki. The code defines a periodic update cycle, where it reads an analog value from the light sensor and sends the result to your computer over the serial connection. Select your device and port in the Tools menu and hit Upload. Now start the data forwarder in your terminal. You'll also have to choose which project to link it to as a source for data acquisition. So if you haven't created one, now's the time. Let's check and make sure that the Wio shows up in your Edge Impulse Projects Devices list. Now we'll record training data for each of the three gestures, rock, some very porous paper, and scissors. We'll select the Wio, the light sensor, and a 10,000 millisecond training window. Plus, add our own label for the type of gesture we're recording. Then hit Start Sampling. We're aiming for a balanced dataset, including equal amounts of each gesture. According to the tutorial, we want at least 10 10 second samples of each. Since this is a light based model, I've optimized by using a single overhead lamp. That means less fuzziness in the outlines of my hand that hit the sensor. I've also taken samples at different times of day with more or less ambient light. The tutorial shows three different ways of training your model with different processing blocks, but for this quick demo, we'll just choose one option, flatten. I'll save my impulse with these settings. After we save that, we're taken to the Generate Features tab. We hit the big green button and see a graphical representation of our current data set as interpreted by the parameters we chose. Next, we go over to Neural Network Classifier and hit Start Training. Now with the device still hooked up, we can go to Live Classification and test it. As expected, my 10 second sample of the rock gesture is classified very well. Paper and scissors are a little harder to distinguish, but by holding my hand very close to the sensor, I've been able to emphasize those distinctions a little bit. 
Note that I still haven't written a single line of code. I've copied a tiny Arduino sketch from the tutorial, and typed a couple of commands into the terminal, but that's it. At this point, if my results are fuzzy, I can go back and add more data, retrain the model, and test again. Once I'm happy, we head on down to deployment. We grab the Arduino library, leaving the following options as is, and click build. This part is super quick. I unzip that archive, drop it into my Arduino libraries folder, and restart Arduino. I quit the process running in my terminal, since that's hogging the device's communication stream. Then I open the static buffer example from that new library, which is named after my Edge Impulse project. At this point we do a little tweaking to take the sketch from processing a static set of data to using live data from the sensor. The wiki has that information as well. Finally, I can open the serial monitor, wave my hands around over the device, and see the results! Nice! We've just gotten Edge Impulse machine learning up and running on a Wio terminal device straight out of the box. Thank you for joining me on today's machine learning journey. Check out the materials linked below for more on this cool little device. And as always, hack on.